I'm Meredith Ross. We're kicking off the show today with the latest box office buzz with our culture correspondent, Maya Marquette. Hey, Maya, how are you doing hey, today? Great. So we're going to start off with something pretty spooky. Something scary. Yeah. Sci-fi horror thriller, which if you haven't seen it, you might remember a very iconic scene from this movie, Alien. Mm -hmm. You might remember that alien that popped up out of someone's belly. Um, so now there's the Are latest Are there any film. more belly popping scenes in this next one? <laughs> I'm sure that there will be. The yeah. film is premiering this week, and the next one in the Alien franchise, it's called Alien Covenant. It's the sixth in the series, the third directed by Ridley Scott, and we have a clip from the trailer. You sure about this, Captain? How do you mean? We don't know what the fuck's out there. Good morning, New York. <laughs> Hello, Alien. Definitely this is insane. Definitely I see this movie. <laughs> not what you would call a feel-good movie, I would no. say. Uh, but as you could see from the trailer, you have Michael Fassbender. It's the second Alien film that he's in, and yeah. he's playing an android named David, and also a second android named Walter, mm -hmm. playing two characters in the same film. So we have to wait and see how that pans out. That's unique. Lovely, lovely actor. I'm one of my. I'm a big fan of Michael You're a big Fassbender. Fan of Michael Fassbender. <laughs> I am. <laughs> and in the opening uh, scene of the movie, one of the main characters. Well, not one of the main characters. But one of the cameo characters dies. Well, I was going to say, it looks like everybody dies. It in this looks movie. like most Gruesome people. Some bloody deaths. Jeez. The, the reviews are pretty positive so far. A lot really? of people are okay. saying that it's amazing. It's coming out this weekend, so I think it's really something to look forward to. All right. I, I'm too much of a coward to go see that in theaters. <laughs> that would just scare me to death. Okay, yeah. so moving on. Do we have something lighter now or no? It's not, it's not light, but it's not scary. <laughs> okay. It's called Wizard of Lies. It's the latest biopic film on the, the swindler, the notorious swindler. Uh, Bernie Madoff, who swindled $17 billion from people, as you may remember. Yes. And Madoff is played by none other than Robert De Niro. His wife, Ruth, is played by Michelle Pfeiffer. And we also have a trailer from this film. Sounds good. Have you no shame? Have you no conscience? Looks wow. like something to watch, huh? It really looks good. And De Niro, I'm sure, is just amazing. I mean, in everything that he does. He's an amazing <laughs> actor, and it's premiering on Saturday on HBO. Exciting. So definitely something to check out. It will be rolled out internationally thereafter. Mm -hmm. uh, Madoff, uh, as you may know, is 79. He's still living. He's uh, serving a 150-year prison term. <laughs> yeah. And his what happens to his family is quite tragic, actually. His son, uh, Mark, committed suicide two years after he was convicted. Mm -hmm. right. um, his other son, died of Andrew, died of lymphoma in 2014, and his wife, uh, they were married for more than 50 years, and she cut off all contact with him. Wow. So I wonder what she's doing these days. Um, nice to know. Yeah, she, she might be watching the movie. I'm sure she will be. <laughs> well, okay, so HBO this Saturday. That'll be good to see. Uh, so what else do we have? We have something lighter, finally. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I can take a deep breath now. Okay, what is it? If you've seen the movie Inside Out, it's an animated film. Oh, nice. Where every different character plays an emotion inside someone's mind. So this film is based on that premise. That was a very popular Pixar film. This film is called The Emoji Film, and it's the, about the secret lives of emojis inside your smartphone. <laughs> okay, so we're taking it a bit more of a millennial, tech yes. direction. More tech direction and the uh, the trailer is quite cute and we have that for you as well. I gotta reply to Addy's text. What should I do? Be chill. What? 
send an emoji. <gasps> okay, be cool. Welcome to the secret world inside your phone. Where emojis like me work and live. Here, each of us does one thing, and we have to nail it every time. Incoming text! We are go for men. <gasps> Who, me? <gasps> What's he doing? He's making the wrong face! What is that? HL, send an emoji. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's cute though, but, it, but it's, it's, it's just a little scary to me. It's how, for children. The way that, like, you know, the world has developed and mm. this is how kids communicate. And, uh, but, but that's life. So you have to be careful what emoji you send. That's right. You have to be really careful. And they did a stunt at the Cannes Film Festival, even though they're not screening there. <laughs> um, there was a parasailing incident with the actor TJ Miller, which was quite funny. It didn't work out quite as planned. They were sending him up to do this parasailing publicity stunt for the movie. <laughs> That's him. Uh -huh. And it didn't quite work out as planned. He was a little bit clumsy or something didn't work out quite well. And he landed incorrectly. And in, apparently he landed in the water at some point and he had yeah. to do the rest of the media event completely soaking wet. <laughs> oh, so he's okay and not so, injured. That's it's quite good. funny. Uh, the reviews, we'll have to wait and see the movie. Movies coming out on July 28th. This was just to bring out some publicity for them. That, that they did this. Cute. Yeah, there you go. He's having some <laughs> trouble there. <laughs> that's hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> There you well, go. that's a headline in and of itself. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hopefully, the movie won't be. Such I think a they enjoyed it at Cannes. I think it was uh, a little nice for them to see something a little bit. Uh, oh, absolutely. Comedic I love, there. I love the little dancing figures. <laughs> I was going to ask, is there a Kim emoji in the film? Not mm. so kid friendly, the Kim Kardashian emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Not sure about that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what do we have next? The next is the fifth. Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Uh, it's called Dead Men Tell No Tales with Johnny Depp playing Captain Jack Sparrow. As always, it's coming yeah. May 26. But they've run into Disney. It's a Disney film. They've run into a problem. The problem is hackers have oh, stolen no. the movie, and they're threatening to leak the movie in 20-minute chunks if Disney does not pay a huge ransom in bitcoins, which is huh. an online digital right. currency. Right. The digital currency. So oh, no. Disney says they're not going to cooperate, and apparently they're talking to the FBI and trying to find out who the hackers are. How did they get the film? Nobody really knows. But yeah. the same thing happened to the the fifth season of Orange is the New Black. I was going to say Netflix just went through something similar. So this is kind of similar, and it's making me wonder if this will just keep happening with movies, or how are they going to safeguard them from digital leaks? and from hackers in the but future. Netflix also did not give in, right? And then it as was far as released. The, yeah, no, they didn't. But this is kind of also ironic for Pirates of the Caribbean that the movie was pirated. I just uh -huh. had, to, I had to bring that up. <laughs> a good pun. Always exactly. appreciate a pun, Maya. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, it's, you know, too bad for them. Hopefully uh, the FBI can nip it in the bud. But I don't know. I mean, these days, hackers are pretty savvy. They are. They are. But, you know, the movie's coming out at May 26. They don't have that much time to release the chunks of the film anyway. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's one of the reasons Disney isn't giving in either. Okay, and we're going to switch now to Netflix, as we just mentioned, uh, to television. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so there's something really interesting going on with one of the new shows. Yes, one of these series is considered a smash, smash success. It's called 13 Reasons Why. Mm -hmm. It's drawn a lot of buzz and also a lot of criticism. Uh, let me just start giving you a background on the story first. It's based on a young adult novel written by Jay Asher. Um, and the criticisms stem from the subject matter of the film, which is about the main character, Hannah Baker, who's a 17-year-old who commits suicide. Mm -hmm. And she decides to send 13 tapes to the 13 people who led her to commit suicide, wow. according to the character. And each, each, uh, you know, each episode is based on a, one of those people. Mm -hmm. So many people are worried about, many educators and parents in the US are worried that other teenagers will follow suit. They will try to be in, copy this kind of suicide thing, and yeah. they're worried that it might become a problem. So it's creating a big uh, debate. But I hear it's a really good show. Mm -hmm. And uh, some people say, you know what, leave it on, because it may show the reasons why not to commit suicide. Why not to, yeah. How it affects friends, things like that. So And uh, bring attention to like you know that issue. Definitely want to 